However, those who wish to seek justice are left with nowhere to go, except for our offices, that is. You did have the opportunity last year in this House to act, but instead you rubbished Deputy Wallace's policing bill and dismissed the idea and by basically saying there was no problem at all. It was a worrying ordeal for the guard in question to go to GSOC, given his very understandable concern about confidentiality. However, this worry was significantly increased this morning when it became obvious that we were under surveillance by an unmarked guard car whilst waiting in the now infamous Insomnia Cafe adjacent to GSOC's premises. John Wilson, who was there with me for support, left the cafe momentarily to establish what was going on. He was subsequently followed down the street by the unmarked guard, guard the car. So what was all of this about? It is bad enough that the independence of GSOC is questionable, but for the people who are about to report an incident to be put under surveillance by an unmarked squad car is, to say the least, astonishing. So, on Taoiseach, as the leader of this country, what are you going to do about this? What are you going to do, bearing in mind that we have had good people that are being silenced and the legislation which you are standing by is anything but fit for purpose? You shall. I don't know. I, I, I have no information about, about Deputy Flanagan being followed or being under surveillance in an unmarked car. Sharp man to know that an unmarked car was actually shadowing you. Maybe it wasn't you at all. They were, they were, they were, they were looking, they were, uh, they were had on the surveillance. Maybe they thought there was somebody dealing. I, I don't know. But, um, the, the position is that uh, uh, as Deputy Flanagan's aware, we have, um, we have, um, we're waiting a report, I'm waiting a report from uh, Mr. Gearan SC. We're waiting a report from Justice Cook. We're, we, the Arathus Committee, uh, are looking at the uh, terms of reference in respect of GSOC, and um, uh, these are these are matters that are uh, that are of the greatest importance. You yourself, along with a number of other uh, deputies, Deputy Daly and uh, Deputy Wallace, uh, presented me with a, a number of documents uh, in respect of various allegations, which I'm following up at your request, and, and hopefully we'll have a. Have a, um, a proper and thorough response for you. But I would say, Deputy, it seems as if uh, anybody who's had any connection uh, with the guard over the last 30 years um, seems to seems to want to bring forward um, reports and comments uh, which <coughs> want to. And the bigger issue here is not this individual case. It is the fact that. No one can have confidence in GSOC so long as serving members of the Garda Siakana are operating within it. But that was bad enough, and that was the incident, that was the issue that I intended to bring you to you here today. But then to actually see a situation where we are being followed by a non marked car with two obviously identifiable police officers in it, and you seem to make a little bit please, and make a joke of it. When are you going to do something about this? You need to do this quickly because people are losing faith in what they have to have faith in, the Garda Siakana. Whether it be my wife or my kids, if something happens in the morning, we've got to go to them, we've got to trust them. But at the moment, that trust is not on the floor, it's below the floor. You need to deal with this seriously, Taoiseach. And I have to say, the one thing I was certain about coming in here today is that you wouldn't answer me a question because you've never answered a question since I came in here. Can you try and make it a first? Will you tell me and tell the people of Ireland that you're going to do something about this? Because after that incident, that man wasn't terrified anymore. He was quivering. He was on the verge of breaking down. Thank and you. I come in here and you make a joke out of it. You are a disgrace. Sorry, this is question time. Yes. I mean, no joke of any comment that you made. You, 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 you walk in here, you walk in here, and you give a report to the people of Ireland about being followed, about being under surveillance. I know nothing about this. If you want to tell more stories or more, I, mean, I don't have any information about what you say. But I, I will say this to you, Deputy Flanagan. I will say this to you. Uh, the whistleblower's legislation is being treated here with proper respect and will be dealt with in a way that the that is a, a pretty radical change from what applied before. I note the comments of the interim commissioner of the Gardaí, where there's room for dissenting voices and where there's a need 
uh, where, where, the, where, uh, where um, whistleblowers come forward to be protected. Uh, you're aware that the government has made a decision to have um, a statutory independent authority set up for the Gardaí. I myself chair the new committee in respect of justice reform um, and uh, the committee dealing with the independent and statutory authority for the Gardaí. It had its first meeting um, this week. Um, the the uh, process is now uh, being set in, in train for that, for public consultation, for, for public consultation, uh, for hearings by the appropriate committee, uh, for coming back here to the Dáil uh, by July with recommendations for the setting up of an independent and statutory authority. Uh, clearly also the, uh, the Gielan report when it comes forward and the Cook report when it comes forward will be published and will be debated here and let's see what the recommendations that are contained therein. Now, it will behoves you to come in here and make your allegations about treating comments that you make as a joke. I assume that you're quite serious in what you're saying. I don't know the person you're speaking about. I do not know the guy that you refer to. Uh, but I'll, 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 invite you, I'll invite you, if you wish, uh, to, have, to have the information that you've got from the person who's terrified or who's, in, who's uh, very uneasy about coming forward, and to give me that information, and we'll treat it with the utmost confidentiality and respect that it deserves, Deputy Thank you. That completes Sleepers' questions for today. Yeah. And that's the end of that. <clears throat> Tried to access the, uh, with the word administrator password just to see. But anyway, that's, uh, password or encryption quiz are required to access the Wi Fi network, Angada. Shikana, that's the Irish Police uh, Secret Service, which is the uh, article I did. So they're making a reference to that. Ah, and uh, well done for a call for Revolution Ireland for putting that up there. We'll cancel. <laughs> and now I'm trying to get onto them now. Okay. All right, that's it. I just wanted to document that, and that's Ming Flanagan today in the Irish government, question, uh, you know, putting a question about being uh, surveilled to the Edna, Edna Kenny, and he's the Taoiseach, the person in charge of Ireland, uh, PLC, and he's showing us uh, just what he thinks of human rights, freedom of expression, and all that sort of thing, and protection of whistleblowers as well. I think that was fairly clear. Um, anyway. <laughs>